guys welcome back to my channel so after years and years of vlogging and you know doing styling videos on Instagram a bajillion of you guys seemed interested to know how I go about putting together my outfits and by the way if you don't follow if you don't follow me on Instagram yet I'll plug it right here I do a bunch of styling videos you know I just showcase my day-to-day -day life apart from being a um, youtuber Instagrammer, influencer you name it in this video I just thought it's gonna be fun to kind of go about behind the scenes of how I put together my outfits so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it I thought it'd be cool to just use all basic essentials because everyone has those in their closet by the way if you haven't really um, watched the playlist I suggest you go watch that first actually let's pause let's just pause click out the video go watch that because you'll need it before this in that playlist I showcased the basic tops bottoms outerwear dresses which I think is very very helpful just so you can build a consistent capsule wardrobe this is gonna be a two-part styling how to put together outfits so I'm gonna do a spring and summer and I'm also gonna do a fall and winter one of the best ways that I like dressing up my basics is using accessories accessories are the key pieces when you're trying to spice up any basic outfits that you have and I just didn't feel the need to do a um, must-have or accessories essentials because I feel like accessories are based on your personal style I might like a micro bag and you might like a tote bag different personalities so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so to start it off, I'm going to start with tank tops. I have this black tank top that I'm going to start with. And I'm going to pair it with this basic slack just like that. And I'm going to tuck in the tank top just to give me a nice silhouette. 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 A nice silhouette. So the blazer I'm going to pair this outfit with is going to be this. I think it's Houndsworth. Main reason I'm gonna pair this outfit with this blazer is just because the pattern on this blazer ties in very well with what I got on. So it has some beige components which is reflected in the slacks that I chose and it also has some black on it. This is actually a tip for styling prints like this, like any type of prints. You always wanna pick one color or two to combine in the outfit just so it can be consistent. As you can see, we're looking a little bit put together. I'm just gonna add my jewelry. All right, okay, we're getting somewhere. For the shoes, I'm gonna go with this flats from H&M. I like actually matching my top to my shoes because I, I feel like it just makes it more consistent, per se, if I'm making sense here. I'm just gonna carry this nice little tote bag that I have. And you know, I look like I work a 9 to 5 or a business casual if you want to call it. If you want to dress it up a little more, I chose to go with this pointed toe heels because I feel like they're just a classic, they're a wardrobe staple. I love this one from Steve Madden because even though they're quite pricey, they're very, very comfortable and they're just a nice little investment. Damn. really kind of dressy outfit I'm gonna try to crop this tank top a little bit okay like so I literally just tucked in the half bottom of my tank top inside just to dress this up a little bit instead of the palms I'm gonna go with a classic black um, sandal heels okay like so and then for my purse I'm just gonna use this rose gold clutch bag because it just ties in really well with this rose gold dainty necklace that I have on a 
Another way to style this tank top, I'm just gonna use these wide-legged pants. I think wide-legged pants are just such an essential in your wardrobe. This is how this, this outfit looks with this wide-legged pants. I actually have a satin kimono that can go really, really well with this outfit. This is definitely good if you want to be extra AF and still maintain the black look. I feel like this texture and the print is just good to add a pop of color in this whole outfit. But if you don't want to be extra AF with all black, you can definitely... You can definitely switch this up with another printed kimono. So this is just a tribal kimono that I got from H&M a few years back. And I think it just adds a very nice pop of color to any outfit. I think if I tie it like this, it's gonna look cute. Let's see. Alright, okay, this is kind of a look. I'm feeling it. Whoa, this is a look. I am definitely liking this look. For the shoes, I just have the same heeled sandals from the previous outfit. Okay, so for the next outfit, I'm actually gonna use this white tank top. These shorts have some beige-ish, nude -ish color, a white color, and a black color. I think these two colors together will go so, so well. Okay, this is the outfit on. As you can see, not the most flattering yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck in this tank top, okay? And the shorts just have a tight front, so they have kind of like a paper bag type of waistline. Okay, okay, my waist is starting to be defined. And guys, don't mind my bra straps. It will be best if you wear a strapless bra. Since I want this outfit to be a very, very airy outfit, I want to bring up more white and beige tones. So I'm actually going to put on this white blazer just to tie everything in. And voila, it's not really the exact shade as the tank top. It would have been nice if it is, but it's okay it's all right it's still workable and for my shoes i'm just gonna go with the with some nude heels that i have we're getting somewhere with this outfit we're getting somewhere lastly i'm just gonna pair this outfit with this nude bcbg bag i feel like this is a really really cute outfit if you want to go for brunch with the girls <laughs> definitely switch this outfit up using some black accents as you can see for this outfit I just chose to bring out some black accents using this black pair of classic heels that I wore in the previous outfits and I just added a black laser instead for the accessory I think I'm just gonna go with this black floppy hat okay then again to just be consistent with the bringing out the black accents I'm gonna go with this black purse so yeah comment down below which one do you like do you like the beige tones better or the black tones better so that is it for the tank tops let's move on to t-shirts now